on guys, it's your boy Christian here back at you for a brand new sneaker shopping vlog. Will we actually buy sneakers today? Possibly, because uh, we're gonna be going to Fairview Mall today. Now, it's the new month, July, my birthday month, and uh, we're gonna be going to a mall I don't really go to too often now, because I, well, we don't really go to malls very often anymore because of the world, but we're gonna go to Fairview where they have Champs, Full Locker, and Foot Action, and I'll be showing you guys the best and worst sneakers they have sitting at the mall right now. So if you are able to go to these malls and uh, you're, you're unsure if it's like worth the time, worth the effort, worth the hassle, then you don't have to worry anymore because you can basically shop in the mall through this vlog. So uh, yeah, shout out to everybody staying at home. Shout out to the frontline workers as well. And if you guys want to see what is sitting at the Jordan store, which has a lot of heat, check out my previous vlog where uh, I also show you guys that and my girlfriend moving in. So on feed today, we got the Nike Air Tech Challenge 2. This is the hot lava colorway. And it's one of my most worn sneakers I plan to wear this summer. I actually did a top 10 video for my most worn shoes for the summer. So check it out if you haven't yet. I'll have the card pop up right now. All right, we're stepping inside and there she is. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hello, Misty. I missed you so much. I missed you so much. Oh, you're so cute. You are so adorable. Someone commented actually the other day, my dog doesn't get enough love that she looks super lonely. No, trust me, fam. We give Misty a lot of love. A lot of love and affection. So don't worry about my dog not getting enough love. We love her as much as I, I probably love Misty more than my actual sister. My mom just said that was mean because <laughs> you know what's mean? My mom was like exposing me today. I was at the dentist and she called me. She called me. Oh, you were just I was at the dentist <laughs> office. I was like talking to the receptionist and my mom called me to well, what's the what's the right word? Scold me for not making my bed in the last <laughs> vlog. She watched the vlog and was like, Your bed is a mess and it's Disgusting. You can't show this to the world. <laughs> this is some old photos of Misty. This is Misty at like puppy training school and I gave her a little mohawk thing. It's so adorable and she looks so thin and tiny and like a bobblehead almost. And then we have Misty graduating. Oh my god, look how adorable she is. And then we have uh, one of her first winters with the little mohawk as well. Just so cute, so photogenic. And, uh, and then we have Misty. I think that's the very first day we got her. She's so cute and adorable. Oh, look at Misty again with my mom. <laughs> we love our dog. We really, really love our dog. Anyways, if you guys guys have a pet let me know in the comment section down below what kind of pet you have and its name or its breed or whatever just tell me a little bit about your pet I want to know what kind of pets the sneaker talk family has heading over to Fairview Mall now we got the required babe face mask my sister also has a mask too it's the one made out of what what's this from this is the same material our kitchen tablecloth is made out of she's wearing our kitchen tablecloth but it matches my outfit because it's pink and my shorts are pink boom okay let's get going All right, so we're getting to the mall right now, and I gotta say the parking lot looks pretty busy out here, so I'm expecting it to be way more busy than when I was here last Thursday when uh, some of the mall opened up, not all the stores. I'm expecting all the stores to be open today. So let's see just how busy the mall is. And by the way, some people were commenting in a recent vlog that there were some really good sneakers sitting in some of these sneaker stores. So let's see if we can find some heat, because I'm, I'm really crossing my fingers that we find some heat. out the Air Max section. Nothing new from the last time we were here, but I did take a look at the uh, the Jordan section and it looks like they got some pretty new stuff. Here's a uh, pretty dope Air Max 2090 they have here. I'm a fan of this model and they actually have the OG colorway, which I'll be showing you guys in a review in uh, the coming days. But these are a pretty dope colorway for the Air Max 2090. These are going for $195 plus tax. New colorways of the Nike Air Max 270 React. These are 225 with an extra 30% off. These look pretty cool. I like the way these look more than these. These remind me of the uh, Travis Scott 270s that they just released. Air Max 90s right here, the, uh, the black and neon yellow colorway. Here's a look at the Jordan section of the Nike store and uh, the basketball section as well. Surprisingly, well not surprisingly anymore, I guess these will be sitting at a lot of locations. The Air Jordan 1 Chicago Black Toe Mid, these are still sitting. And uh, yeah, this is a size nine right here, size nine US. So if you are looking for a pair, make sure you guys swing by your local Nike store. This colorway is really dope as well. I talked about these a bit in the previous vlog, but really great colorway for the uh, summer months. Either of these colorways are both really, really good. 
We also have the Royals as well, these pine greens. We got the, uh, the metallic purples from uh, the other day at the Jordan store as well, $250 plus tax. This is a size nine here. We got the uh, the Air Max 95 neon Air Jordan 4s. Why don't I get Incredible Hulk vibes or Barney vibes from these? $150 for these. This looks like it could have been like a custom that someone did a long time ago on like Facebook, but uh, yeah, these look pretty cool. We also got these neon yellow or like neon green Air Jordan 1 Low SEs. These are $135. The quality on the leather is actually pretty decent. It's actually better than the, uh, the black toes from last year. These are uh, interesting, definitely a, more of a summer shoe. And dang, they actually have these still in a size nine. The Air Jordan 5 Fire Reds right here. Quality on these is really, really good. And uh, yeah, so let's get my sister's opinions on some of these Jordans right here. So what do you think about these uh, Air Jordan 5 Fire Reds? They look exactly like the ones that I have. The you have these? Oh yeah, yeah, you have the white cement fives. Yeah. This is the OG one, like this is the one that oh, started wow. it all. So what do you think about these? They're I like clean? these a lot, yeah. Would you wear these? Yeah, I would wear these. What Air Jordan ones here do you like the most? I was gonna say these, but I've never seen these before. These? They're like shiny. Got the like embroidered stitching yeah. thing going on here. So like rank these in your top three. Give me give me your top three right here for the Jordan 1 section. One. One. Two. Two. Three. three. So I would say at the Nike store, the best sneakers you can buy right now would have to be the Chicago uh, Air Jordan 1 mid black toe. These, uh, these ones as well. These purple metallic fours. And I'm a huge fan of the fire red fives. In terms of the worst Jordans I think you can buy here, I think these are pretty ugly. Not a fan of these. These look like they have a tennis ball on the back of them. And I uh, really, really don't like these. Some weird Jordan 5s. These look like a, a kid shoe to me in my opinion. All right, so I want you to give me the two best and two worst sneakers in this section here. I'd say right. this one of the best ones. Okay, the purple metallics. Ones. Okay, and then give me two of the worst ones. The worst ones, I gotta say, the LeBrons. Okay, okay, yeah, these are these are crazy. These are a basketball only yeah. kind of shoe. Okay, gotcha. This one reminds me of like Party Rock Anthony. Party Rock, oh, LMFAO, yeah. man, throwback, throwback. I feel like someone in the hype house would wear this. This is a hype this house shoe? You no, know, it's like flat, aesthetic. Okay. Which ones are the best you'd say here? These ones here? These just came out. These are crazy. These have a zipper on the side, so you have a removable swoosh on the side. Then you have the black leather swoosh on the inside. These are these are really, really cool. We got the uh, Nike Air Force One bedazzled uh, text on the tongue of the shoe. And it has this Air tag right on the, uh, the laces there. These are really fire. They also have them in black as well. I think these just came out the other day. Whoa, somebody took the swoosh. Look, it's missing. It's missing the swoosh, but these ones are still here. You can even take this swoosh and put it onto the other shoe, which is pretty cool. We also got these new like Air Force One utilities with the uh, the the tongue again and again and again. Not really feeling these ones. I'd rather just go for a simple pair of white Air Force Ones. Here's the rest of the Air Force Ones that they have. A few of the Gore-Tex. These look pretty cool. The leather quality on these Air Force Ones are really nice, and I like that sort of aged colored midsole right here. That sail midsole. Really dope. Gives these kind of vintage vibes on the bottom. I like the pop of colors. I would like red, but it's it's purple right here. These are clean. Looks like the leather quality is a slight upgrade compared to the regular GRs. Not sure about the price point on these, but these are dope. And I would expect them to make more colorways or like different colorways uh, of these shoes. And uh, it's a good alternative to the Air Jordan 4. Here's some more premium Air Force Ones. We got these for $185. The leather quality is definitely an upgrade. We got the leather tongue there too. This Vachetta tan on the back and on the swoosh too. We also got some more classics, the blacks, the whites, and we also have the React uh, React Air Force Ones as well. So a nice upgrade in, uh, in terms of comfort for these. And these are new. This is a completely new colorway actually of the Air Force One React. So Nikki, give me your top two best sneakers and your top two worst here. Air Max 270 Reacts, yes. 195 with an extra 30% yes. off. And give me one more really good option for the guys here. Black, some black Flyknit Vapor Maxes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you went for the black because I'm, I'm trying to go for a summer vibe, so I would probably go for oh, go for true. these ones right these here. Are nice too. So these are nice too. Okay, okay, and give me two really bad options here. What are the worst sneakers in the Nike store here? Yeah, I don't like this one. Either. These gold ones, and not like feeling them. The Midas Touch, 235. And then what else? Give me another whack option. These ones, the Nike Joyride. What do you not like about these? I don't know, I just can't vision any outfits with this. It'd be more just for a working out shoe. Okay, okay. So, yeah. What do you think about these right here? These Nike Air Force Ones with the zip. I've never seen them before. These are cool. I like this color. I have shoes like that look exactly like this side of it. Mm -hmm. So I like them automatically, but I like them too. And what about the, uh, the classic Nike Cortez? What's your thoughts on these shoes right here? 
These ones I like too. I know a lot of girls who have this. I don't know that many guys who have it, but they actually look really nice too. That was the Nike store. Next up, we're gonna check out Champ Sports and Foot Action. And uh, one little note I want to mention is all the little walking signs on the floor. These right here and the arrows and stuff. It really reminds me of like the Pokemon video games when you would go into like the Team Rocket bases and it would spin you and like push you in a certain direction. So we're inside of the Champ Sports right now and it looks like they have some heat here. We got the Air Jordan 13 Flints, size 9.5. That's a really good find at the mall today. Might have to grab these and check it out. They also have the uh, the 11 lows that just came out too. Not sure if they have my size. This is size uh, size 11. So this might be the last one here. So that's 11 of the uh, Air Jordan 11 Concord breads. I think people are calling them. So the Champ store is pretty crowded right now. So I don't want to stay here too long. So I'm just going to quickly vlog and show you guys the walls, what they have here. A lot of stuff on sale. A lot of NMDs on sale. We got some Ultra Boost, some Puma Future Riders, some Puma RSXs for uh, Sixty dollars down from a hundred and forty. Got the black and white colorway. You have these on? Oh yeah, my sister has some Puma RSXs on right now too. They have this Oreo colorway for sixty dollars as well, down from hundred and forty. That's a really, really good price for these. Here's a look at the uh, the Nike Air Max section right here. We got the new Galaxy looking at Air Maxes. These are crazy, man. These are really, really funky looking. hundred seventy dollars retail plus tax. I like these a lot. I wish they released these like years ago with those Galaxy foam pockets. I think that would have been a really good time to release these, but these are still really, really nice. Classic Air Max nineties right here. This white and sort of like indigo blue colorway for hundred sixty plus tax. So here's a at the rest of the Nikes and I gotta say the Champ Sports store here has a lot of really good Nike kicks we've got some more Air Force Ones just as I mentioned earlier with the white and purple pairs oh the white and purple pair they had at the Nike store was better quality than these but these are 120 for the white and blue pair and if you like white and red they have these here for a hundred dollars down from hundred and twenty these are still sitting this is like a size 13 from the uh, evolution to swoosh pack hundred forty dollars we got some uh, black and gold and white Air Force One lows here as well well, these are pretty clean. Would have been like a clean Nike ID colorway I think someone would have made. And then we have another pair of Air Force Ones, 135 for this white, blue, and red pair. Here's a look at the uh, the Jordans that are at Champ Sports. We have the uh, the Fives right here, some Fire Red Fives available, looking clean. We got the Ray Gun Mid Ones for 130 plus tax. I want to call these the Toro 3s so bad, but they got the Unite 3s. They got the Levi 6s for $150. That's actually a really good price. Retail was 265 now 150 some really good savings right there. This right here is like the heat cabinet at uh, Champ Sports. They got the Chicago Black Till Mid. They got the top three Air Jordan uh, fives here also sitting as well. And it looks like these are a size 10 that they have sitting here. So if you want them, come and grab them. And then they also have the other uh, hair Air Jordan sixes available. This pair I'm holding is a size 9.5. So it looks like they have some decent sizing for these still as well. I really like what they did with these. I really like how they took that hair Air Jordan seven and implemented that colorway onto these sixes right here. Turns out they also have a size 8 for the uh, the Air Jordan 13 flints here as well. Here's a look at the uh, the women's section of Champ Sports. We're not going to stay here for too long since uh, only 10% of my audience is female, but we got to show some love to the girls in the Sneaker Talk family as well. A lot of colorful uh, Air Maxes and Adidas NMDs here. Okay, okay, wow. They have like this whole black and pink collection. It actually looks pretty cool. 130 each for those NMDs. And then a lot of uh, Air Max 270s. These are like perfect for summer, I think. Super bold and colorful. Too bad there won't be too many places to wear these out. But yeah, these are these are cool. We got some Puma RSXs down below here too. $60. So Nikki, what are you feeling here in the girls section since you're uh, a girl? If I have my size, I kind of want to get these. If they have your size, they want these right here? $80? Wow, that's like more than 50% off. Yeah. That's like Nike outlet pricing for these. What do you like about these? I just like Nike React. I like okay. the I like What about this like is. here? The holographic is kind of like 2016. 2016, damn. Yeah, okay, exactly. okay. Here's a look at some of the Nike basketball they have. We got some uh, Giannis right here for $100 down from $160. But they got this gray colorway. I think I remember these Team Jordans from when I was working at Full Locker way, way back. $185 for the Flint Team Jordan 1. We got some more Giannis's all on heavy discount. These are $100 down from $160. These are $80, so half price for these Giannis ones. LeBron's, we got some uh, 
lot more Kyrie's over here. Hundred dollars for the Kyrie's. They're all seventy dollars off for all these Kyrie's. That's a really good price. We have the super super famous Fila Disruptor twos now for thirty dollars, down from the eighty dollar price tag. Here's what I think are one of the worst Air Jordans ever. The Mars two seventies. They got the grape colorway for a hundred dollars, down from two hundred and ten. We also have the fire red colorway here as well. All right, so that is our time at Champ Sports. Next up, we're gonna head over to Foot Action, see what they have here. Left my sister behind because she might buy those Nike uh, Element Reacts, but uh, yeah, hopefully Foot Action got something good. We're here now at Foot Action Fairview, one of my favorite stores in the mall, easily my favorite sneaker store. Uh, we're gonna start off with the Nike section and then work our way over to the other kicks. So here's a look at a few of the Element Reacts they have. See-through ones, the 87s. Up here we got some uh, weird shoes. I've never seen this model before. The Nike, oh, it's a Daybreak. It's a Nike Daybreak from that uh, that pack that uh, they also did Air Forces one with the N352. Sort of gives you like these off-white kind of vibes. So that was the thing they're going for. I like the teal colors, really nice. These are these are pretty dope. These are $120 plus tax. Here's a look at the Air Max section. A bunch of Air Max ones, including the Galaxy print that just came out not too long ago. Still available. A lot of, a lot of colorways for the Air Max ones. Down here we got the Shocks, some, some Vince Carters. No, not some Vince Carters. But not some Vince Carters, but shocks are here. 50% off, down from 210, so 105 bucks for these right here. Got some Air Max Pluses, a few different colorways. Haven't seen these yet. Blue and white colorways are actually pretty dope. One of the best-selling sneakers in the last two years is the Air Max 97, and they have a couple colorways available. These were like the Olympic ones that are the unofficial Olympic pairs. These are 225 with an extra 25% off. This yellow pair is really nice, but the pair that really speaks to me is up here. Red pair with the gold accents, and of course you got the little hits of the uh, Olympic vibes on the tongue here's a look at some more air max 97s we got this red orange and yellow pair all right next up we got a bunch of uh, nike sneakers on sale so we got some pink air max ones over here we got some air max 90s down below but this is what catches my eye the nike air more up tempo this is supposed to be the olympics colorway i actually used to own the og pair of these from way back i bought them at a charity event for 40 dollars. i ended up selling them to a friend he wore them once and then the air unit just crumbled beneath his feet but uh Cool to see them bring these out for 2020. Unfortunately, of course, there is no Olympics this year, but I'm a huge fan of these shoes. I actually have two pairs waiting for me at home, one to rock and one to stock and hopefully not have the air unit cave in. But yeah, these are these are classic and these were one of my favorite sneakers growing up, although I was never really into sneakers like that. But this is one that always caught my attention. Here's a few other colorways of the Air Max 2090 that came out. This is sort of like a, a highlighter kind of vibe right here, this neon yellow, the blue. And we got one of the original colorways here. Sort of has these like transparent kind of vibes and then we have the triple blacks a sneaker that i don't think has gotten a lot of love and we haven't even seen a uh, sort of collaboration with a big brand on these yet so i feel like once there's a collab these will definitely get some more attention i would expect maybe like a, a travis scott collab on these that would be pretty cool next up we'll give you guys the rundown of the jordan section a few sneakers on sale only 25 percent off for these while they're 50 percent off at champ we got a few dub zeros here these were regular price at the jordan store we got some uh, Jordan 4 Winterize for 25% off, so regularly 265. And uh, of course, they have these here too, the Chicago 1 Mid Black Toes. The resale, not like their high cut brother, but still they're a really great sneaker. Checking out the Adidas section, we got some Ultra Boost on sale for 50% off. The, uh, the metal pack, so these are now $125. Same with the gold pair here as well and man if, if you told me that these kind of ultra boosts would be 50 percent off like four years ago in 2016 i would have called you crazy man because that's just insane we got some star wars ones right here now 125 dollars plus tax i remember these sitting in, in japan actually was it in october november when these came out we also have some more nmds but the uh, the og kind of vibe from the prime knit uh, prime knit era and then here's the rest of the nmds that are sitting some more ultra boost and one last sneaker to close out the vlog these are the air max pluses and these actually sold out online on nike's website like instantly i don't know what it is about the shoe in canada people in canada respect the shoe just as much as the people in europe and then americans don't really care so much for these sneakers but the air max plus or air max tn 210 dollars the triple white colorway they also have the triple black colorway here too and it's like a full premium leather upper big big fan 
fan of these because we've seen a lot of Air Max Pluses released, but they've been using like a lot of this like synthetic or a canvas kind of upper right here. So it's nice to see them use some regular leather materials like those. And here's uh, another pair, this black, white, and gold. And I think that'll wrap it up here. You guys made it to the end. Comment down below your favorite sneaker you saw sitting in today's video and what sneaker you would like to see sitting in your stores in your city. Because I'm curious what you guys like and what you guys are after for. With that said, the mall is closed right now. The mall closes early now at 7 p.m. So not the regular 9 p.m. With that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys smash that like button down below. It helps me out a ton. And I'll catch you guys in the next video or over on my stream, twitch.tv slash sneaker talk Peace out.